All right, team, this is uh, my first go at reading and, and trying to talk to you at the same time. So uh, we'll see how we go. You get to see what I see. Um, so the first page you see here is a new you, phase two. Uh, there's two pages attached to this. Oh, that was page two. Here we go, page one. So continuing being the fat burning machine. Now, uh, like I posted in the October new you today, if you still aren't where you want to be, okay, as far as body fat levels, energy levels, still having a little bit of a play and a dabble at trying to get the right combinations and everything working for you, then stick to what you're doing. Drop another couple of uh, percentages of body fat and then restart into this process, okay? And that, that's a really important part of it. If you haven't done the foundation work, so that first four to five weeks and you haven't done that effectively, then trying to jump straight onto this and get an instant change isn't really going to work for you. Now, we know we're reaching the silly season and things are, are going to start to have more influence on excuses and that type of thing. Um, so it is really important that you get a very strong foundation and that way you can always leverage from that position there. Anyway, but we'll make a start on it anyway. Green smoothies, still recommend having them every week. Um, you know, I went off them last week and... And I really noticed the difference just in myself and my energy levels. You know, I was getting a bit hazy in the eyes and um, didn't win the Melbourne Cup. I think it was due to the fact that I didn't have enough green smoothies. So I'm back on them. I'm back onto them with a, you know, with a vigor of, uh, of making things better. And I know that I'm going to be a lot better for it. Two other things that I'm really going to push this month, fish oils and magnesium. Now, there's a million other things. Oh, I just realized I spelled fuel incorrectly. A million other things that we can be taking. But at this stage, you know, your three big ones are your BCAs, so your branch chain amino acids, your fish oils, and also your magnesium. Okay. Now, we've put an order in through our supplier, which we should have in the club in the next couple of days. Of, uh, I've made sure hopefully we get them before, before Monday starts. But have a general read, read through that. I still want you to take your photos. Take your photos, write your information. And the big regret that some people have is that they didn't do their measurements. Okay? Take your measurements. That's going to be a massive difference, especially when you're doing that weekly. You're finding that you're not dropping off the midsection the way that you should be. Your hips are still staying the same. Then there'll be a reason why, and together we'll be able to work through that. Um, like I say, I always work back to Tara and things like that, and the girls that did the fitness figure a couple of years ago, and I knew, one, where they've had too much carbs, and two, they've done too much cardio work. So too much cardio causes stress, stress goes, hits your belly button, and everything starts to swell, you know, regardless of how much body fat you have. But uh, well, like I say, we'll continue on that. So look, add in flaxseed oils, coconut oils, butters, but really, uh, the fish oils, we want to jump in doing that as well. Now, what's the difference? Well, we've got to see there, minus day one, treat day. Why do we have a treat day? One, probably the biggest reason is to increase the glycogen in the muscle because we're going to have reduced carbohydrates again through the week or early on in the week. We've got to have some form of energy that's there in the body. And also, we've got to make sure that we're rewarding ourselves. If we're going to work hard during that first week or every week, if we're going to work hard during and sacrifice what we'd normally have as meals and drinks and stuff like that, then we need to give ourselves something to play with on the weekend. And and that's what we really want to do. So that's what we put in there, treat day, minus day one, treat day. So it's where you can eat with no guilt. And again, you know, we shouldn't have guilt over food anyway, but you know, you know, you know what I mean through that. Extra food, calories, chocolate, pasta, whatever it may be, but come day one, you then need to go on a fast. Now, traditionally, a fast is, you know, 72 hours of no food, just water, that type of thing. And we are not recommending that whatsoever. But we're saying, let's do a 24-hour fast from Sunday night, as an example, till Monday night. All right? And you're not going to have anything through that day except your magnesium, your fish oils, um, a little bit of greens if we need it. You might have some black coffee, but otherwise until dinner on the Monday night. 
Okay, and that's and that's probably the best example I can do. Give yourself that good 24 hours for your body to go, whoa, what's going on? I've got all these extra calories. They feel toxic in my system. I'm going to use this energy over the coming days to get myself back and drag again. So it's, it's sort of a double whammy. I've, I've got the reward. I've earned the reward. Now I get this extra fuel that's come onto my body. I might feel a little bit sluggish. I might feel like I've got a hangover. That's because you've actually been good to your body. And it's not enjoying these bad calories, if you like bad calories, that you've had over the last 24 hours. So it's going to try and rid it from the body as quick as we can. So that's what we're talking about there. Go on to day one, fast until 8 p.m. That's if, again, Sunday night your last meal was 8 p.m., then you're going to have dinner. Um, big strength day as well. Once again, you're going to have this extra burst of energy mentally you might feel a little bit fatigued, but physically, your body has got plenty of fuel to to source, to use, okay? And that's what we want to look for. Um, we've got there, follow supplements around training times. Plant protein can be used in shakes. Again, that's if you find it really hard and you can't go through the 24 hours. Um, you can. You can. There's no doubt about it. You know, you We've all done it in our younger days. We had a bender. We slept through the day. We didn't eat until the following day, that type of thing. You know, we, we can all do it. And, and secondly, if you're busy and productive during those days and during that time, then you'll get through it, no problems at all. And also, you know, you're going to be sleeping half of it anyway. Day two to day six, don't eat till at least after dinner the night before. Oh, I'm confusing myself there. Okay, so you're just going to, that's when we go into this like 16 by 8 or 12 by 10 type of thing, depending on male or female. Now, my understanding and, and what I've tried over time is that females find a little bit tougher on going through this fasting on a regular daily basis to go those whole, you know, 15, 16 hours without having anything to eat. If this is you, females, if this is you, then bring it back to, you know, to 12, maybe, you know, 14, stretch it out, see how you feel. Again, um, we're just going to do this whole process on feel, how it is you feel, how it's going to make a difference from that. And if you're feeling okay energy-wise, you might have a black coffee to get yourself through or a cold-pressed coffee as, as Bally's into at the moment, then use that. And get you through until you start that eating sequence from the remainder of the eight hours. And that's not saying you eat continuously for eight hours. You're just going to have the same amount of meals that you normally do. You're going to have the same amount of food that you normally do. But you're just going to condense it into eight hours instead of 12 or 14 hours that we probably do already. Okay. And then we're just going to sit back and watch the body. Um, you know, generally, 72 hours into it, you start to then really feel the difference in energy-wise. You start to wake fresh air. Um, your skin feels better. Everything comes through. Very similar to how you were on the sort of day three, day four of the detox. You just start to feel a little more alive. Your energy is good in the mornings. You're, you're able to sustain that energy longer through the day, that type of thing. Um, and within a week, you know, a week and a half, you should just start to see the differences in the mirror as well. If you follow that treat day on that Sunday, for example, or when, you know, whenever you structure your week and know that you have a occasion coming up where for one meal you just want to let go and enjoy the, the people around you and you have a few extra drinks and you have a bit of, you know, food you wouldn't normally eat, then use that as your cheat day. Use that session as your cheat day. Um, the next day, just get back clean again. Leave that 24 hours and then go through from there. Day seven, rest day. Um, like I said, just have that little bit of a treat day working through. So nutritional guidelines again. So first day, 24-hour fast, no solid meals. Um, exercise with high intensity, a few times per week and times in your fasted state. So yes, Monday, you're going to go through in a fasted state. Use the energy. You'll be okay. Um, from personal experience, some of my PBs I've done at the end of a fasting day. Um, and I really don't have any issues with it at all. 10 grams or 5 grams for females, you can work up to it. So your BCAs, this is going to stop the muscle breakdown that will happen 
when training in the morning without food, okay? So that's what's going to happen. Um, and also, it will increase. We're gonna, we can increase a little more if you find that you're getting DOMS, so delayed onset of muscle soreness. Eat your largest meal directly after your workout. Yes, great, unless it's your treat plus one day. So it's the day after your treat. That's definitely not going to happen. And eat two or three meals of protein, meat, veggies, and fats daily. So that hasn't changed. You know, that's just that's, that's a normal process and coming through. Okay, so I'm just about out of time there. Um, have a listen. You might have some questions. We're going to flick this through anyway. But uh, that's all we need to go through from here. The next video I'll go through, I'll talk a little more about the benefits of fasting or why we're fasting, what happens to the body metabolically, and, and how do we get these results. All right, bye for now.